shout out, and it's Vopes, baby. Woo! My, my MC hero is Kermit the Frog. Yeah! Uh, all right, so uh, Nathan Harvey. There we go. Hi! Howdy! All right, uh, so I'm sorry to tell you DevOps is dead. The word is over. It's bullshit. Uh, the good news is Chef is sponsoring a happy hour later, so you can come and pour one out with us. Uh, it has been an amazing seven years. I want to talk a little bit about the history of DevOps. So DevOps actually started in an open space that was all about agile infrastructure. And it was at a time where people thought infrastructure being agile meant that you would use Velcro wire ties instead of plastic zip ties to lock down your cables in the data center. So we've certainly come a long way from there. Short, shortly after that, the cloud was born. The cloud was amazing. We could spin up compute nodes at the click of a button or at the call of an API. Things started growing massively. And the cool thing about this was developers could start just kicking out the jams. They could say, forget about, forget about operations. We don't need them. We can go right to the cloud. We know what we're doing. It was kind of awesome, but it was kind of also like Anthrax trying to do hip hop, uh, which they did, like they did it a lot, and it was okay. But then you had the real operators, right? You have Public Enemy. They are the true operations team. Look at them. They've got security with the S1Ws. Uh, they're monitoring everything. What do you think Flavor Flav has that clock floor? He knows the transaction time of everything that happens. But when you put these two together, we got DevOps. We're truly bringing the noise. We've got Public Enemy and Anthrax bringing the noise. Now we've got Dev and Ops working together. But you know what? We've quickly realized, and now this is when it starts to get sad, that it's, it's not enough. Like, shit breaks. And we, we can't forget QA. We can't go right from dev to production. We need QA. So forget DevOps. It's now dev QA ops. This is where we're going to go. This is the future. But man, not only does stuff breaks, but what Pete told us, like we have to have security involved here. So now dev QA ops is dead. It's dev sec QA ops. This is what we're going to do. We're expanding our horizons. We're including more people in the mix. Oh, but what about those lonely enterprises? Like, this is a place where there's thousands of developers, many, many different applications that are deploying. There's legacy systems. How can we forget about those? So it's no longer DevOps. It's now enterprise dev QA sec ops. Oh, but I can, I can automate my network gear. That's pretty awesome. Now that we cannot leave our network engineering friends out of the mix. It's now enterprise dev sec net QA ops. Who's with me? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 wait about it. Wait, wait, what about the money? Like, how do you move from waterfall to agile without changing the way you budget? How do you move from a data center to a cloud, CapEx versus OpEx? We got to bring the finance team into this conversation. It's enterprise, dev, fin, net, sec, QA, ops. What about the government? Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness? That sounds like DevOps, right? But it also is a bunch of red tape and bureaucracy. All right, so now we have enterprise, dev, fin, sec, net, QA, gov, ops. But maybe you don't work in the government. It's cool. Those auditors come in, and they want you to follow all of the rules, SOX, HIPAA, PCI. So uh, the good news is we don't have to add another one. We can overload gov in that word, and it can be government, government or governance. What about human resources? Who needs to hire folks? Yeah, we all do. Who wants to work on another team without rearranging your entire org chart? We need human resources to support what we're doing. So we now have enterprise dev, HR, fin, sec, net, QA, gov, ops. But security isn't enough. We need to bring lean and agile practices to security, and that's where we get rugged. So now we have rugged enterprise dev, HR, fin, sec, net, QA, gov, ops. What about open source? The legal team needs to be involved also. We have to get permission to contribute back. Rugged, enterprise, dev, legal, HR, fin, sec, net, QA, gov, ops. That's what it's about. That's where it's, oh shit, the customer. That's why we're here. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we forgot them. So rugged, enterprise, dev, legal, HR, fin, sec, net, QA, cust, ops. What do you think? That's what, that's what we're here for. It's no longer DevOps, but wait a minute. What is this? Is this a flour? Is it sugar and flour mixed together? No, it's a fucking cake. We don't list all of the ingredients. We don't list all of the ingredients. We eat it, it makes us feel good. That's what DevOps is. So stop adding words, stop adding syllables to DevOps. DevOps is for all of us. DevOps is a cultural and professional movement. 
focused on how we build and operate high-velocity organizations born from the experiences of its practitioners. Embrace that as our definition. DevOps is for everyone. We can use these two things together, DevOps, don't think development and operations. Think about the high-velocity organization that you're building to please your customers. Let's all stop adding things to DevOps and just get behind this banner. Thank you.